a rug rolls itself out across America, woven tight from colors light and dark. Silk and cotton threads touch, unaware. The weight bears down in Philadelphia, falls heavy on Memphis. Blankets north to Thunder Bay and flock with uncertainty to the Pacific Edge. Technicolor yarns dazzle us and hide but swept underneath. Violence. Yesterday in Arkansas, one dead, seven wounded. It is scattered on the streets. And in Tampa last week, three killed. Gathered in the malls. Singled out in our homes. Anguish out on the streets. Relentless faces denounce it and beg for us to stop. Do something, do something, do something, do something. But all this brutality earns a high rating. Pain and tragedy entertain us in our easy chairs. We shake our heads and hold our hearts and pray it's not us. Not my children. Not me. Not here. And shot her ex-supervisor in the mouth. But it is here. In every town. Every neighborhood. Every apartment complex. It is the neighbors we hear, but never meet. It is the school friend our children talk about. And it is us. Oh, Mom, when's Dad gonna be home? Um, probably pretty soon. How about it? Can you guys help me clear the table? Sure, sure. sure. Afraid and waiting. Hey, I think this is good enough for now. Let's just get started on your homework, okay? No longer does it happen to someone else. Watch it. Watch it. No longer does it happen somewhere else. Mom. 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 This is right. We are not quite sure what to do. Yeah, that looks good. What is this thing that makes us sad and mad and vicious? Why can't you kids pick up your toys? What is it that turns us loose on each other? Can't you get these kids to pick their stuff up? I couldn't even get in the driveway. Do you think you could manage to get me some dinner? I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances. Circumstances? What's that supposed to mean? You don't like the circumstances? I'll give you circumstances. The truth is, when we drink, we are more likely to get angry, make bad decisions, take risks, and ignore danger. The fact is, more than half the time, alcohol is involved in all assault. Murder. Child abuse. Rape. And domestic violence. More than half. This is not about prohibition. It's about what can happen when people misuse alcohol and why, when every day we hear that violence has overthrown our neighborhoods, we rarely hear that alcohol is the leading conspirator. And no one is talking about it, because no one knows. If it's in the police reports, it hardly ever makes it to the newspapers, or on television. It's just not part of the story. No one is asking the one question that would help us make the connection. Was alcohol involved? I guess John's just been drinking out of control. That's what the neighbors said. I don't know what's wrong with those kids.
But now you know. You could tell someone else. You could ask the question. Was alcohol involved? And then together, we can find new ways to handle our anger and frustration. Instead of opening up a bottle, we can open up to each other. Spill out our stories. Pass the cup of friendship. You don't have to form a committee or be part of a coalition to help. You just have to know. And you can help others make the connection. You have a voice. A rug rolls itself out across America and hides what is swept underneath. Lift it up, this minute, this place, right now.